My name is Rachel Kareja. I manage the scholarships and the award indeed. I also represent what indeed, more so the office of the president of what indeed in these communities. I'm very happy that you'll be viewing this video and considering a donation to what you're going to talk about tonight. My name is Mrs. Olivia Sempandi. I met uh, some ladies on my visit to America, uh, Mrs. Alex and Mrs. Jennifer. So we discussed uh, very many issues about Uganda and my church. So Alex was so much interested about the family planning and she decided to, to help with the women in Uganda, especially my church to help with the family planning. Yeah, some women know about family planning. Others just say about family planning. Others use traditional methods like spacing. Others use traditional methods and they end up getting pregnant. Some men in Uganda don't care about family planning. They, 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 you know, they just don't care. You know, uh, men in Africa do not care if a woman produces how many children. To them, it's a pride having many children. Yeah, some of them care, mm -hmm. and they can, they give them money. Some of them take them to hospitals mm -hmm. to to take uh, family planning pills, and you know, to get more knowledge about family planning. About 30%. About yeah, some of them care and some of them practice family planning when, while hiding, thinking that maybe the husbands um, are interested in having children. Some of them go to clinics and buy tablets. They do self-medication, which may later cause Problems. Family planning in Chitagelang and Kula, it to Yamba or Kuzala Havana and Tibari Kumkum. Family planning Family Okuzalabana, the purpose of this video is to request you, is to ask you, is to beseech you uh, to consider donation towards a noble cause in this community. 
Family planning is one of the things which is quite rare. I know my colleagues would have, have spoken about it, but my rounds in these villages have shown me so much about child spacing, about uh, the need for family planning. We believe if a family is well planned, it's a, it's, and it's, it enables that family to have better education for their children, provide better meals, provide enough love for their children, among so many other things. We are hoping that the funds we're going to raise are going to, one, provide an education for the women. We have a, we have a day where we're inviting them over to come and learn about family planning. We want them to take a decision with an informed mind. And uh, that money is also going to help us buy the necessary uh, services, i.e. bring in the doctors to do the insert, to do the implants, or another, another form of family planning that women will choose. And the third point is that it will enable us to do follow-ups. Family planning is like any other medical service. It requires follow-ups. I mean, the things which could go wrong within a short time or a long time. So the money you are going to raise tonight, the money you're going to help us with, the money you're going to graciously send us is going to help us cover all that. I want to thank you so much for considering that as a don for considering that donation. And uh, we we promise you that the money will be put to its proper and good use. Thank you so much. God bless you.